Hey everybody, so we I will give you some introduction of Python, how to uh, basically start using Python and then for, first of all installing Python. For installing Python, you have to go to the official website of Python, which is python.org. You go there, python.org. This is the official website. You can download uh, from here. So I will hit all releases. And uh, these two, Python 3.4 and Python 2.7, these are two versions. We uh, use Python 3.4 is the latest one, and Python 2.7 is another one. We use older version, but it's also very famous, very commonly used. We will use Python 3 here only. And uh, these two buttons are for Windows installer. You, if you have Linux, Unix, or uh, Apple, or some other operating system you can download uh, your own version uh, accordingly so if you click uh, double click it it will start downloading the MSI which uh, I already have so I'll just go there I can double click and start uh, running the Python uh, install installer which, uh, which is nothing uh, difficult you just have to double click uh, keep on install uh, clicking and it will start I, I already have Python so I will show you uh, a Python 3.4 and 2.7 you can have both versions installed on your system doesn't hurt but you have to make sure which version you are using the Python 2.7 has a different syntax there is nothing other than different uh, difference between these two there are some different uh, syntaxes you have to understand so if I click on this one you see it will automatically install the idle idle is the Integrated development and learning environment for Python, which is the IDE for environment official IDE, very basic one. You can install your own uh, if you want, if you are familiar with or easy with uh, Python, uh, sorry, not Python, Eclipse or some other IDEs, you can install those. But I will suggest you can use Idle, which is just already available to you. So if you click on that, you will see this screen, uh, this interface, Python 3.0. 4.2 this is the version it's right now installed on your system and uh, these angle brackets these are called chevron these are the prompt python prompt and this idle is the interactive version interactive version means that whatever you type in here if i say 12 you will come back to 12 if i say 1 plus 1 hit enter it, it will automatically always give you output this is that's why it is called interactive if I say 13 multiplied by 41, it will give me some answer. So, interactive version is the one which automatically gives you output, and you don't have to say print to output. But there is a there is a, a function, built-in function, a print which you can use. But the other version you have to do is to create your own file for uh, writing your code. I already uh, you can click on new file to open something and then you can uh, click here to save it save it to wherever you want to have uh, I will save it in Python files I have a file and I have previously saying hello test and uh, it was asking that Hello test already exists and I want to replace here. I want to replace it and now I'm just testing it. So you can give it any file name. Make sure you give it dot uh, pi. Even if you don't give it uh, save it as dot pi, you can you will automatically if I say save as right now. So, so even if you don't give this dot pi, it will automatically save as dot pi. Now it is saved to the different name, but just saved uh, there so here if I say 12 plus 12 and control save and you can run your file from here run module you, you can hit F5 to run it but if you, I'm just setting it so you are see I don't have any output here because this is not the interactive version this is the file version this is the code version of the uh, Python so here if I want to have the output I will have to say use a built-in function which is available in Python which is called print so it starts with pencil and it has the syntax that it will take some values 
one or more values separated by comma and it has a separator as for separator what separator you want between the values and the uh, other I am not concerned right now for those I am just giving it a value I will say 12 plus I will say here 11 and enter I don't need this to then I am just printing a value so hit control s to save it and f5 to run it I got the output print I can even change this uh, I can have a string value here also I can in double quotes I am saying hello world control save and f5 I got hello world and uh, if you remember you when I so I will just take this and remember it says value separate by comma you can give more than one value so else if I want to say result of 12 plus 12 is colon space and now I want to say 12 plus 12 so and then close so what is doing is that from these double quotes this is these this is all string so it is it will print it as it is so 12 plus this 12 plus 12 will print will print it as it is but this 12 plus 12 which is not in course is our integer values the numbers these will be calculated so it will print result of 12 plus 12 is 24 so let's see if it does that control s and f5 it says result of 12 plus 12 is 24 so that's uh, all about uh, installing uh, the Python and using the Python and uh, creating your file. You can have more than uh, one lines of code. You can have multiple lines. You can have complex code and then save it and then run it and see how, how it works. And that's it. And uh, if you have any other questions, if you want more details, let me know. Thank you.